Adora is homeschooled and three years ahead of her peers. She follows an online curriculum. So... This is the office and it's a great place. It, this is my little area. Um, this is just really sort of my center of everything I do. All right, this is my schedule. Aha! Adora showed me the timetable she devised for herself. Age 10, she already had a schedule that would put a junior cabinet minister to shame. Wow, OK. How old were you when you realised that you were different from other children? When I was little, I thought everyone loved reading. I thought reading was the most fun sort of game. It was enjoyable. In fact, I read so many books today, my parents actually had to tell me to stop reading. A lot of young people, they don't want to be different, you know, there are enough pressures and so kind of being one of the gang is, is the easiest way sometimes when you're growing up. Well, I like being different, unique, and sometimes I wear very simple clothes or very plain that show how much disregard I have for the rest of society that's saying that I should be wearing jeans and I'm wearing sweatpants instead. Today I'm not, but I often wear mismatching socks. Evening and time for the family meal. That's good, thank you, Mark. Joyce grew up in China during the Cultural Revolution with no access to books, and now she seems intent on giving Adora and elder sister Adriana the knowledge that she was denied. From a very young age, I hire a um, babysitter to not just watch them for the physical comfort. Mm. I always coach babysitter to teach the kids to play with them in a way that's inducive to their learning, so mm. they learn very early on. Sure. I teach my kids the same things like Learning is just as essential as eating and drinking. Mm -hmm. You don't ever stop eating and drinking, and so you never stop learning.